Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro, Year of the Dragon Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face. And number one, I've noticed that Sparks is much shinier than he used to be with all this new magic power. And number two, directly behind me, is the Yeti Boxing minigame. So let's tear that band-aid right the fuck off and get right to it. Oh, Spyro, I have just received word from my little brother. He appears to be having some trouble with a Yeti. It's very strange the way you say that, because that would be like me telling someone that my brother was having trouble with a human. He doesn't even say another yeti. That damn yeti took my ball. I told him to give it back and you'd kick his lousy butt, but he wouldn't listen. Is this like a definition thing? Like, that's a yeti and we're actually abominable snowmen, we're just too polite to correct Spyro? They don't look like big feet. Big feet are supposed to be brown. Yes, I know that's not the accepted plural, but... I mean, it's not like Bigfoot's going to complain. <laughs> Alright, let's kick this lousy butt. I knew you'd do it! Go and show him not to mess with us! Remember to block his high punches and hit him low when he tries to block. Yeah. A button for a body blow. B button for the big hookeroo, and Y button to block high. Okay. Jab, body blow, hookeroo, block high. They did not say jab before. All right, you fuck. isn't too bad. If it was just a couple rounds of this button mashing nonsense, I could get used to this. When you hit him, finish him with that one, it just kind of looks like you punched him in the dick. Hey, wait a minute. This isn't my ball. Oh, Bartholomew. Can't we just get you a new ball? We we have thousands of gems. Hi, Allie. Yeah, we're back here. You should go back and kick his butt again. Make him give me my ball back. Anyone else jealous of Allie right now being able to teleport away? Or Zoe, for that matter? Or on an unrelated note, Bartholomew for having such nice shoes. <laughs> I do like that his shoes appear to be smaller than his older brother's big toenails. No. This time, it'll be a three-round match. And when you win, don't let him send you off with a stupid egg. If he actually gives me, like, a soccer ball or something after this, that would actually be pretty funny. That doesn't, it, 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 he doesn't react to the big hookeroo the way you would think he would. You know, you'd think you slug him in the face and he, like, staggers backwards and opens himself up for, like, another hit after that. But that's not what happens. He just flinches the same as everything else and then instantly counterattacks. And it just, every time I do it, it's like, oh, I connected with that one, but it didn't matter. I don't know, I don't know. I'm trying to remember the state of fighting games in 2000. Were stagger attacks even a thing back then? I'll clobber you, you fuck! I have to go back to Colossus and whine about uh, not having enough goats to eat, huh? Which one is the block? I block. Only 
two more rounds to go. You're doing great. If I can beat him in two rounds, I get a skill point out of it. No, I won't have to do it again. No, I don't think it's very likely to happen either. No, not a third round! But I did get the skill point. I defeated the Yeti! I didn't think I would be able to! In fact, I had just told you guys that, and... Man, I guess ripping the band-aid off really does work. This one had been looming over me. I actively didn't want to do it, because I didn't think I would be able to do it, and I didn't want to throw in the towel! Happy birthday, Rico, and Merry Christmas, too! It's a miracle. But... What about Bartholomew's ball? I mean, it's just box the Yeti again, but... Huh. Oh well. I'm kind of surprised by that. It's just another stupid egg! Why do they sound like they're, uh... Just, just trying to remind myself if I'd ever heard ever of any, like, Bigfoot sightings in, uh... Well, in, you know, Europe, really. Because the British accents just kind of throw me off just a little bit. See, the issue there, I've realized, with the, uh, the not changing color thing... Oh, there's that. Egg is uh, yeah, the issue is I can't tell when I've only taken one hit. You know what? I want to check something. He's really glowy. If I take one hit, does he just lose the glow? Are there any enemies left for me to test this on? Technically, okay. I can't actually take damage here. I kind of want to walk back into the Yeti fight room. You know, just to see. I jumped to minimize the amount of time I was on the ground. Because you move much slower on the ice. I know I'm not going to get any proper closure out of this, but I need to see it with my own eyes. Oh! I found my ball! I'd forgotten I lent it to Eugene yesterday. <laughs> no harm done, right? <laughs> oh, god damn it, Bartholomew! Okay, there was- Okay, I'm really glad I did that, because that's excellent. It is exactly what I did not think was going to happen there. I thought it was just going to replay the event. <laughs> god damn it, Bart! Uh God damn it, Eugene! Eugene, the one who helped me build the rocket? Huh? Do you realize this means that the Yeti boxing is one of the only uh, 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 one of the only activities you can't replay? I mean, you know, if it had to be one of them, I'm glad it was that one. But uh. No, because it's not going to work. How do I get on top of this pyramid? Yeah! Shake what your mama gave you! 
Sorry about that, I was completely overwhelmed with the urge to be silly, and I could not resist. You might have noticed this comes up a lot. <laughs> I don't think this is that pyramid. How do I do that? Oh, fuck. I need the dude there. That's right. Can I use you? No. I'd need to get a running start on that one, and you can't run on top of the ice. I have remembered that now. All right, all right. In and out of the portal. This will be fine. Ow. Oh. Places, everyone, from the top. I didn't even need a jump cut, much less an elevator cut. That was awesome. Flames. Shout out to Miracle Tiger, who left a comment saying uh, that Frozen Altars is one of his favorite levels. Let's see. And I've done most of these things, so that was very funny. Uh, you can do a lot of funny things in it. Of note, you can freeze every single NPC in it and charge them back to remove the ice. You can rush the snowman, and a funny animation ensues. That is true. You can charge the thrower's pile of molten rocks, and they'll be unable to throw one at you. And this is the one I thought I brought it up, because I thought this was neat. You can use the laser towers, to, in, laser in quotes, to uh, hit pretty much everything, and in the original game, hi, Sparks, the first wall was not made out of snow, but ice and you use the laser to melt it down. But you didn't need to melt it 100%, and you could just leave this 90% melted wall asset there. I find it funny that it had physics enabled as opposed to just automatically letting you go through once it's gone. The only thing I don't like about Frozen Altar is every subsection, but the main level is pretty fun and also funny. With that in mind, let's go back in there and get that last dragon egg. Do you think every time it goes through, there's just a big rush of water? Actually, maybe it looks like the Stargate activating, except it really is water instead of just, you know, the event horizon of a wormhole. Okay, first things first. He does lose the sparkle! Okay! I mean, that's still bad news for you, but... You, Eugene? Can I get my flippers oh. from that rotten beer? Okay, so the first one who met didn't have a name that started with E, and that just makes all the other ones even more confusing to me. If you're going to be a shithead about distances, I'm just going to ignore you. Actually, if I'm going to leave that guy there, I should probably do this. There you go. It's like declawing a cat, except you're not removing the ends of his fingers. So, hey, win-win. No! Fuck. I don't love that sound effect at all. Oh, there's your problem. I'm on the wrong fucking side of the uh, pyramid. Wait a minute. No, no, it's not quite it. That might work. I'm just going over this way to see... Yeah, it is just the one pyramid, but I guess it's not stepped enough to just climb up the sides. Shit. I can't see it, but I know it's right there.
And also with you. Wait. Why is it wearing a hat? And why that hat? I thought it was like a... Uh, well, I just thought it was a toque at first. You know, appropriate cold weather hat. I believe some countries call toques, uh, knit beanies. But we have a word for them in Canada, because we're Canada. <laughs> of course we have words for winter outfits. Alright, that was clever, but definitely not the answer. Maybe I was onto that before, huh? There we go, that was itching at me. I mean, not literally, that would be weird, but... Oh, alright. Alright, fine, fine, fine. Everybody gets to be murdered. What if you tried melting the snowman using the laser? I'd do it myself, but, you know, the flippers. Instead of that... You were right, Miracle Tiger. That was pretty funny. Didn't even look like it hurt that bad. Honestly, I feel like being slapped in the face would be more painful than that. No! Oh. Right, I forgot I could not walk around this side the way I can on that side. But just for the record... Oh, I couldn't jump that high anyway, even if I could climb those. Fuck! Alright, alright, alright. It's gotta be that building there, then. Unless I can get on top of the fucking roof somehow. No, it's called Across the Rooftops. It has to be like this. Ugh, damn it. Alright, plan B. Oop. Excuse me. Wait, do I need that? No. He is very glowy indeed. Look at him sparkle with excellence. I bet Sparks is top of his class at, uh, Sidekick School. Fuck! Alright, I can't actually go over there, so I'm thinking that the path I could, thought I could see along the... Huh. I could have sworn I saw a gem on top of the lip of that thing there. Death to you! I didn't feel bad looking up, you know, the impossible tower, given that it's, uh... Well, it's a skill point, for starters. Oh, he's just gonna say that forever now? And on a side note, even if I hadn't frozen you solid, the answer is that you're standing in a fucking ice cave! You know, I don't think ice does this, forms entire caverns on its own. I'm pretty sure you need stone in here. Yeah, like that. But, uh... It's still funny. So my understanding of what happened to Spyro after these games is that there was see, I know there was at least one more game in this series on the PS2. I want to say that was a hero's tale when I was looking into it. That was a while ago. Then they did a full trilogy on the PS2 called uh, The Legend of Spyro. Which each of them had their own subtitles. Oh. 
then they rebooted it again. Yeah, I, I like that. It's been so long since this game that they successfully rebooted it twice. So there was The Legend of Spyro. I think that was the one with Elijah Wood as Spyro. And then they did the, uh, the, the Toys to Life game. Uh, Skylanders, Spyro's Adventure, which really kind of sounds like they tacked Spyro the Dragon onto a brand new license more than a, you know, proper reboot of Spyro. But hey, it got a sequel. That was the one where, uh, yeah, if you're not familiar with Toys to Life, it was a very popular, very brief craze in the late 2000s where you would scan like, little figurines, like, uh, like Amiibos. It was that except a game. You know, you scan your little figurine of Spyro into the game, and suddenly you're playing as Spyro in the game. That was how you got new characters. You went to the store and physically bought the figurines. Oh, that was the cat hockey, yes. Right, that egg is driving me nuts. I might just have to look that up, especially since we've reached the end of the episode. So maybe I'll just start the next one with me. Checking that off the to-do list and going off to do something else. It's probably really bad for his blood, but you know, whatever. Guy was trying to murder me, technically. Sort of sit here on the edge and enjoy the view. Ah, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Spyro, Year the Dragon Reignited. I didn't know the camera did this. If you didn't tilt it, uh, you know, up first. Nice sparks. <laughs> Later.